morning. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Spirit of God dwelling within us. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer the sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never ceased to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for him, for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appeared, appealed that, that, he, had, that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, and as far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from, from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we all know that uh, sin is basically whatever happens against love. So, to be precise, love of God and love of our neighbor. So, and the opposite of sin is, of course, grace and blessings. And that is to follow uh, the love, live the love. And that's what we see in uh, Simon uh, Peter. His sin was he denied Jesus. He uh, ran away from Jesus. And he denied him three times. And now he's getting that opportunity for reconciliation. And he's getting, of course, the three times. He is professing his uh, love of Jesus and, of course, and love of uh, the body of Christ. And then the reconciliation is complete. I think maybe the same thing will be applicable to us as well on a daily basis. You know, sin is always we destroy or we walk away or we break the love of God and love of our neighbor. And when that happens, reconciliation is bridging that back. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to see Jesus in others. For all of us in the church, that God direct us in humble service to others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our national and local leaders, may the Holy Spirit provide them wisdom, discernment, and integrity in their, lo- in their roles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those struggling with chronic illness, may the Lord bring them healing of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may God help us grow in charity toward one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon experience the fullness of joy in the Lord's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For in thanksgiving for Deacon and Gary and Joy Stephas, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of full creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, for the earth and work of human hands, till become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of full creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, for the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of Saint Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Yes. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Yes. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Philip Neri, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So in the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down a spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of St. Philip Neri, we may always long for that food by which he, we truly live, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. St. Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.